Hello everyone, welcome to Shuttleworth Live Demo. Today we will see how you can level up your automation with our integrated handling devices and robot ready solutions. My name is Christian Dagger, a sales engineer for Shuttleworth, covering the South Central States as well as Latin America. Today's demo will cover many of our capabilities, such as metering, rotating, sorting and rejecting, stacking and robot ready solutions. One of Shuttleworth's main strengths is metering or indexing products to feed packaging equipment or to manage product traffic in the lines. The low back pressure combined with the in-surface devices allow us to handle almost any type of product, whether it's wrapped or unwrapped, and make sure that they have the correct spacing prior to a wrapper or case packer. This helps avoid jams at the end feed of any of these machines and also prevents the need of having to start up and stop the line constantly. In this segment, you will see some videos of this application with a variety of products. The concept is simple and the solution is too. All we need to do is accumulate products in our slip torque surface and once they're back to back, we create a gap by indexing one product at a time while holding back the rest with a blade stop and the help of an embedded photo eye. Also, we customize the surface in two ways in order to achieve this. First, we create a speed change or use different roller materials with higher coefficient of friction to create a gap after the blade stop. This is done within the same conveyor frame. Second, we create an opening in the surface that allows the lugs or cleats of a wrapper in feed to come underneath the surface and grab each product. This results in a very smooth transition into the packaging equipment that will stay primed and running. Finally, here we can see how we can use some overhead brakes to align the products from both lanes and meter them simultaneously. Not only do certain machines require products in a certain orientation at their end feed, or labelers need to access more than one side of the product, but also a lot of the times end users request the products to be uniformly packed or to have a certain orientation within the case. In this segment, we will cover our rotating devices including bump turns, in surface rotation, lift and rotate mechanisms, and our star wheel rotator. Normally when you think of a bump turn, you envision a physical bump mounted on the side or on top of the conveyor belt or mat top conveyor. Now with our slip torque conveyors, we can actually embed the bump turn into the surface. Here you can see how boxes are rotated 90 degrees with our in surface bump turn in order to label both sides. The physical bump turn stops a corner or side of the product, allowing the rest of the product to rotate. Similarly, we have tubs of ice cream in multiple lanes being independently rotated 90 degrees with the in-surface bump turn. All of this is happening within one common conveyor frame, avoiding the need for multiple conveyors to perform this operation. All of this is thanks to our slip torque surface, which we are able to fully customize. This video is an example of this. We have one common conveyor frame with a split surface that is being driven by two different motors running at different speeds. This allows us to rotate the boxes without pushing them or touching them with extraneous devices. The in-surface rotator is also great for applications where the products are fragile or when a device poses a risk of damaging the product. Here we can see how we can do this in-surface rotation for stacks of books maintaining the stack integrity and handling it gently with our slip torque rollers. Finally, we can also tilt the frame herringbone style and not only rotate with just the surface, but also keep the product centered after they are rotated. Next, we have the lift and rotate mechanisms. This exceptional servo driven device is able to come from underneath the roller surface, engage with the product, rotate it by any degree and drop down under the surface so the rotated product can continue downstream. We customize these lift grids and the roller surface around it to be able to capture any product size and shape. Here we can see how these stacks of labels are indexed and rotated 90 degrees to feed downstream packaging equipment. Here you can appreciate the custom grid and custom rollers around it that allows us to perform this operation. On the other hand, here we have an example where the lift and rotate is accompanied by a vision system that is finding a specific feature on the product. Once this feature is found, the lift and rotate will rotate the product to place this specific feature as the new leading side of the product. Finally, we have our star wheel rotator. This device is a servo driven custom device that rotates products at higher speeds. All star wheels are customized for each product. Here we can see some open food containers being rotated 90 degrees at 180 products per minute. The system is able to do it smoothly without causing any spillage. Similarly, here we have another open container but this one is being rotated 180 degrees. Then we have some boxes of butter 
being rotated 90 degrees to create a bundle of two boxes per pack. Lastly, here we have a variant of the star wheel where untrimmed books are flipped upside down prior to the trimmer. You can observe how we modified the conveying surface in order to incorporate this device. As you can see, Shuttleworth is more than just conveyance. Our customization along with our integration capabilities allow us to tackle some of the hardest product handling challenges. In this segment, we will cover some examples of how we can sort or reject products using barcode reading, in-surface rejects, and servo bump diverters. Starting with barcode sorting, here we can see how boxes of tea are diverted in two lanes depending on their flavor, which is identified by the barcode scanner shown on the video. Here we can see a more complex system where tea boxes are scanned and then they go through a series of pivoting diverters that sort this flavor based on the result of the scan. Boxes are sorted into eight different lanes of one common conveyor where they accumulate on our slip torque surface prior to feeding downstream packaging equipment. Here we will see some videos of in-surface rejecting, or like we call it, pull nose reject. The pull nose consists of a modification in the conveyor surface where strands of belts retract and extend to reject products. The solution is built into the surface and therefore doesn't require a pusher or an overhead device to reject the products. Here we can see how single tortillas are being rejected with a pull nose reject. As soon as the vision system senses a bad product, the pull nose retracts to let that product fall and extends to let the trailing good products continue. We can also do this with packaged products. Here you can see a box being rejected with the pull nose style reject. This one is actually one solid belt. We can always reject with conventional pushers and overhead sweeps, but here are some solutions where we reject or sort with a custom servo bump or servo divert. These servo bumps are able to reject or divert products at extremely high speeds. This video shows boxes of cream cheese being rejected or diverted at 400 products per minute. The same style of servo bump is shown here to reject stacks of paper plates of multiple sizes and shapes. Lastly, we have a very unique solution of an overhead servo lane divert. Here you can see how a custom servo driven device has fingers that guide products to another lane. Whether we're rejecting at high speeds or sorting different SKUs in a common line, Shuttleworth has the right solution custom built for your product and your line. Shuttleworth has built many custom systems that stack products prior to other packaging equipment such as wrappers or baggers or case packers or for feeding operator hand packaging stations. In this segment, we'll review our different stacking capabilities beginning with the down stacker. Prior to down stacking, the in-surface divider pivots to guide products from one lane to another. Products will then travel to be down stacked independently in two lanes of one common conveyor frame with product stops that hold the stack until the stack count is met. Once the stack is ready, it is released downstream to feed the other packaging equipment. Another alternative design of a down stacker is this pusher style stacker. Products are conveyed to a fixed stop where they will accumulate in our low back pressure surface without shingling. Then they are pushed perpendicularly to be down stacked. And then the stack is released to feed downstream equipment. This style of stacker allows us to stack many products at a time and it could be done with different product types. Jumping into the food industry, here we have a custom multi-lane stacker for unwrapped tortillas before they are bagged. And after passing through an integrated vision and reject system, they are down stacked. Tortillas will travel and drop onto a stacking servo powered grid with the help of vacuum conveyors. The stacking grid will lower and actually rotate as the stack is made to maintain stack integrity. Once the stack count is made, the grid lowers and the stack is conveyed to the bagging station. While this is happening, stacking pins are extended to catch oncoming tortillas. The grid is then lifted and the stacking process is repeated. This happens independently across all five lanes and the system has the ability to stack different tortilla sizes too. Similar to the tortilla stacker, we also have a paper plate stacker. Single plates are then down stacked onto a stacking grid that lowers as the stack is made. Here, instead of rotating, accommodating pins are cycled periodically to make sure plates are stacked correctly. Once the stack is made, the stacking pins are actuated to receive the next plates. On the other hand, we have a down stacker for packaged candy. This simple yet effective system combines two conveyor surfaces to achieve stacking for an operator hand packaging station. With a speed change, we send products into the cleats that stack the products. Once the stack is made, the cleated conveyor indexes to the next position. Just like we can down stack, we can also up stack. 
Here we can see how stacks of wrapped paper plates travel to a fixed stop and with the help of a custom grid built into the surface, they are upstacked. Another in-surface photo eye senses the next product is ready and the process repeats. We can also do this for different product types as well. Whether the product is wrapped or not and whether we're stacking to feed packaging equipment or operator stations, Shuttleworth has the right solution for you. With the decreasing price in robots and the increasing challenges in packaging lines, Robotic solutions are becoming a very attractive option to many manufacturers. Now in many cases the robot needs to have the product in a certain pattern or orientation in order to grab them correctly. And here is where our slip torque surface and our handling capabilities really shine. The low back pressure nature of the slip torque conveyor allows the robot to pick products off the line without the back pressure of oncoming products. Also products won't shingle or pile up while being accumulated or staged prior to these robotic stations making it extremely easy for the robot to perform its operation. Here we can see how small bottles in a box are oriented and ran through a custom upender. After they're diverted, we would form a pattern for the robot to pick up. Only the products needed per pick are indexed, while an overhead brake holds back the rest. Finally, the pattern is squared up and it is ready for the robot. Here we can see how tubs of ranch sauce are diverted in multiple lanes and then indexed to create a pattern for the robot to pick up. Another example is this system handling rolls of unwrapped tape. A custom guide unscrambles the tapes and places them in lanes. Once they're in lanes, two rows are indexed to a fixed stop for the robot, while stopping pins from underneath the surface hold back the rest of the products. There are some applications where the robot needs to grab the products from underneath or from the side. Here, we can see how stacks of magazines are staged and indexed two at a time to a fixed stop. Then, an in-surface built lift grid raises the products so the robot is able to grab them from the sides or underneath. Our slip torque surface is incredibly safe for operators to work on, and this is perfect for cobot or collaborative robot applications where the operator and the robot operate in the same area or same conveyor. This is not the case with other conveyor surfaces where the conveyor surface can drag or pinch an operator's hand and there is high back pressure. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to know more about our other capabilities, I want to invite everyone to visit our website as well as our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time today and I hope you have a wonderful day.